Assalamu alaikum students. I hope you all are fine. So now, let's begin with the English class. In the previous class, we started with the story, A Gift of Chapels. Yes, and I hope you remember what we did in the previous class. So let us revise before we continue with the story. So we started that Mridu, she lived with her grandmother and grandfather in Madras. And one day her grandmother took her to Rukumani's house, that was her aunt, to meet her cousins Lali, Ravi and Meena. So when she goes there, Meena and Ravi, they both are so excited to show her something. So when she goes there, they take her to the backyard and behind the bushes there is a kitten which they had hidden over there okay and Ravi tells her that how he took milk or from the kitchen for that little kitten yes and then Ravi says her that the name of the kitten is Mahindran so this is what we did in the last class now let us continue with the story Mahindran, this little kitty's name is Mahindran. Nidu was impressed. It was a real name, not just a cute kitty cat name. Yes, so we already saw this paragraph in the last class, and Nidu says that Mahindran is a real name given to the kitten, not and not a cute kitty name that nowadays people give. Let us move to the next paragraph. Actually, his full name is Mahindra Verma Pallava Punai. So now what is Ravi saying? That the kitty's full name is Mahindra Verma Pallava Punai. MP Punai for short if you like. And what Ravi tells her that if you want to take a short name of this kitten, then you can call it as MP Punai. He is a fine breed of cat. Just look at his fur like a lion's mane. So now he's talking about his little kitten that he comes from a nice fine breed. That means from a nice race. And just look at his fur. Now he's talking about the fur that is the hair of the cat like a lion's mane. And he compared the fur of the kitten with a lion's mane. A lion's mane means the hair that the lion has around its neck. If you see it, it's very appealing, right? So he's saying that the fur of the cat is just like a lion's mane. And you know what the emblem of the ancient park kings was, don't you? He looked expectantly at Mridu. Now he's talking about the emblem. The emblem means the royal sign that the ancient Pallava kings had. Okay? So ancient Pallava kings means the Kings of the olden time. Ancient is old times. Right? So this Pallava is the whole dynasty. That is a whole family of rulers. Okay? So he is saying that the do you know the emblem? That is a sign that the Pallava kings used. And he looked, he looked expectantly at Mridu. It means he was hopefully looking at Mridu. That she would say, yes, you are saying it right. That the emblem, the sign that the Pallava kings had it is the same like this cat okay so he was hoping that Mridu would continue what he is saying but what actually happened Mridu giggled now giggled means she was she started laughing it's actually actually chuckled she just suddenly started laughing so what did we see in this paragraph that Ravi is trying to tell something about about this little kitten to Mridu. Yes, so now Mridu giggled. When Mridu started laughing, what did Ravi say? Think I'm joking? Well, just wait. Now what Ravi is saying? That you think I'm joking? Then he says, wait, let I will show you sometime. It's clear you don't know a thing about history. So now, because Mridu started laughing, Ravi got little offended. 
okay and he was telling her that i will show you some time and this shows that you don't know anything about history haven't been to mahabalipuram have you now he's saying you haven't ever been to mahabalipuram have you he said mysteriously mysteriously means difficult to understand or explain so you're saying you haven't gone to mahabalipuram i guess well when our class went to mahabalipuram i saw a statue of his thas 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 etc etc so now what does this tell us this tells us that he saying when he went for a trip to mahabalipuram he saying that over there i saw a statue of his thas his thas means talking about the family of this little kitten family of mahindran he saying that i saw a statue of this thas great 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 grandfathers now he saying thas 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 continuously it means is talking about his great 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 grandfather that means means from the family where from where this mahindran comes now you can see the same thing how he talks about it in the picture fact is Mahindran here is descended from that very same ancient cat. Now, if there is a statue of the cat, cat that he saw in Mahabalipuram, it means they might be really royal cats, right? So, for which a statue was made. So he is saying that the thing is, this Mahindran is descended. Descended means it came from the family of this ancient, that is, olden royal cats. a close relative scientifically speaking of none other than the lion now he tells the another fact that if you see it scientifically and we also know that cats come from the family of lion the pallava lion emblem of the pallava dynasty now on the emblem on the royal sign of the pallava dynasty they might have the lion drawn on it okay so ravi went on walking around the bitter berry bush waving a twig up and down his eyes sparkling so what was this actually happening he was continuously talking about this mahind this mahindran's ancient cats as pallava dynasty and everything so when he was talking about all this he was walking around those bitter bushes and he had the twig in his hand if you uh, in the picture over there you can see how the twig is it's a thin branch yes so he means he was moving around that twig in his hand up and down and his eyes were sparkling over here sparkling we mean that it was shining he was very happy to share about this history of cats this cat is a descendant from descendant from none other than the mahabalipuram rishi cat so now he is saying that for sure this cat came down from the family of this rishi cats and if i may just remind you they worshiped cats in ancient egypt now he is saying and i must remind you about this that in ancient time in egypt they used to worship cats so this is what Ravi is trying to tell Mridu about this kitten. So what did we see in this paragraph? We saw that Ravi is talking about the rishi cats, the ancient cats and the emblem that Pallava dynasty used. He is trying to relate Mahindran with those rishi cats. I hope you understood this much. so we saw that how ravi was talking about mahindra how he loved the sound of his own voice meena and mridu exchanged looks now ravi was enjoying talking about this mahindra an ancient cat so now meena and mridu both of them are looking at each other now actually they were thinking why is he talking about this pallava dynasty and ancient cats okay and they were thinking maybe this is all not relevant right so you can see in the picture how both of them are looking at each other what does that have to do with anything mridu demanded now mridu is saying ravi that 
what does this whole story have to do with this little mahendran why are you telling all this ha huh. i am telling you this cat is descended from the egyptian cat god no goddess bas yeah that's it so now ravi is saying this that i am trying to tell you that this cat has come down from the family of the family of egyptian goddess bastet bastet is actually egyptian goddess which was worshiped so now mridu says she continues so now ravi tells that well one of the descendants from the cat goddess was a stow away one of the pallava ships now ravi is saying that one of the cat from this family of uh, goddess was stow away stow away means someone who hides himself or herself in a ship so it saying that by mistake this cat might have become in the pallava ship okay and his descendant was the mahabalipuram rishi cat so from that egyptian goddess that might have you know hidden itself in that pallava ship and it might have come to mahabalipuram and it became a rishi cat whose descendant is is now what is he saying that whose descendant means with, who came from the family of that those rishi cat is ravi flourished his twig at mahendra flourished means he moved his twig you know waved it towards mahendra pointing at mahendra and what did he tell that mp punai year wo ek he shrieked very pleased with himself so now what did he say he is saying that pointing at my uh, mp punai with that punai with that uh, twig he is saying here this is the cat which has come from the which is the descendant of rishi cats and then he gave a a shriek that means he he cried saying whoop and he was very pleased with himself he was with himself sharing this history of how this uh, mahendran came yes so this is what is there in this paragraph that he talks about this mahendra that it belongs to the egyptian goddess how that came to mahabalipuram and it's a part of rishi cat okay and he, finally he says mp punai came, came from the family of rishi cats so we saw that ravi was talking about this mahendran cat mahendran looked up alarmed it means mahendran looked up and got frightened he looked frightened he had just been sharpening his claws on the edge of the coconut shell so what mahendran doing he was sharpening his claws claws here we mean a sharp curved nails that the at the end that animals or birds have on the foot so he was sharpening his claws on the edge of the coconut shell edge means on the sides the corners of that half coconut half coconut shell but he got suddenly frightened why but worse than ravi's awful who eek was a screech from the window so worse than ravi's shriek is shriek yes worse than ravi's who some screech sound over here screech means some unpleasant sound came from the window and what a weird sound if mridu was startled mp punai was frightened out of his wits so now a weird some strange sound coming from the window and mridu got startled means she also got shocked and if mridu got shocked what would have happened to mp punai mp punai was frightened and was confused from suddenly from where such sound is coming and hair stand there standing on end it means on the tail it looked like as if the hairs were standing he bounced up and scurried towards a bamboo tree it means he jumped and he ran towards a bamboo tree of red chilies that had been set out to dry dry have you might have seen some red chilies we keep under the sun to get it dry yes so 
Here also there were some red chilies kept in bamboo tree to set out to dry. Yes, so he ran towards that bamboo tree, try, trying to hide beneath it. So what was it? Now this little kitten it got very much frightened. It was trying to find a place to hide. So he tried to hide himself under that tree. So what would have what would happen if he tries to hide hide himself under that tree? Trying to hide beneath it, he tipped a few chilies over himself. Meow. He hold miserably yes so what happened now he was as he was trying to hide himself what would happen obviously the chilies will fall right and some few of them fell over himself and he was he howled howled miserably means he was as if he was in pain he was sh- shouting he was screaming he was mewing the creaking went on and on What's that noise? said Mridu. Now in the picture also you can see how Mahendran tried to hide himself and how this uh, Meena, Mridu and Ravi they are annoyed with this screech sound. So that sound, that unpleasant sound continued. Okay, now Mridu is asking, what's that noise? Now, That's Lali learning to play violin, grunted Ravi. <laughs> that it's Lali. Now, in the beginning only we saw that Mridu had three cousins. Lali, Ravi and Meena. So, till now, Meena and Ravi were there with Mridu. So, where was Lali? Lali was actually learning to play violin, right? So, this screech, this unpleasant sound, sound was of Lali learning to play violin, right? So, She'll never learn a thing. The music master just goes on playing like a train whizzing on and on while Lali's all the time delay, derailing, going completely and completely off track. Now Ravi is saying that she will never learn anything. She will never learn to play this violin, right? So Ravi is saying that This master is playing violin so beautifully as if a train is running smoothly on the tracks. Whizzing is the smoothly how the train runs and the sound comes, right? But what he's talking about Lali, he says, all the time derailing. It means she's always off track. She's never playing it right. Yes, so this is what we saw about the story in today's class. Okay. So what did we see at last in the paragraph that as he was talking talking about Mahindran and the ancient cats, we suddenly hear a creech sound from the window and we know that it's Lali learning to play violin. Yes. So the rest of the story will continue in the next class. Go through it, read it again from your textbooks, textbooks so that you understand in a better way. So in today's class, we saw that Mahind, how this Ravi talks about this Mahindran, how he came from, is descended from the Rishi cats from Mahabalipuram, yes, and how now talked about Lali learning to play violin. So here are some word meanings of the words that we came across in today's paragraph that we studied. Okay, So when you read it again, go through these meanings so that you understand those paragraphs and those words in a better way. If you have any doubt, be free to ask. We are here to solve it. Okay, And here we finished with part 1 of the story. From the next class, we'll start with part 2 of the gift of chapels. Till then, stay safe and happy. Thank you.